What's up traders? In today's video, we're going over MetaTrader 4. We're going to set you up for success. We're going to show you how to use it on a Mac, and I'm going to give you the four indicators that I could not trade without. If you're new, my name is Austin Silver. I'm the co-owner and head of trading here at ASFX, and I really appreciate you being here. I know that today's video is going to be helpful. It's going to bring you value and help you make better trading decisions going forward. That's the goal. If you enjoy the video and it does bring you value, just give me a thumbs up right down below and make sure you're subscribed. That way you don't miss any future videos and YouTube continues to suggest our videos to other traders. So we're going to talk about how to get MetaTrader 4 running on your Mac. And I'm going to give you these indicators that I use every single day because they make a difference in my trading and I think they can do the same thing for you. It's funny. The most popular trading platform in the world by far is MetaTrader. I put a poll on my Instagram. We did a blast to our email list and got some responses there. Everybody, overwhelmingly, I should say, three to one, four to one, chose MetaTrader as their preferred trading platform. So it's funny to me that this platform is not available on a Mac naturally, like super easy. If you want to use MetaTrader 4 on a Mac, you have to download a program called Parallels that reroutes you into like a Windows operating system while you're still running your Mac system, and then you can download MetaTrader and run it. Now, I should say, since I just mentioned the first company outside of ASFX uh, that I'm gonna mention in the video, this is not a sponsored video. No one gave me any money. I'm never gonna take any money from any of these companies that I mentioned today. I'm only doing this to share what I've learned in my experience with you. Like I said at the beginning, to hopefully help you make trading better trading decisions going forward and to help shortcut your learning curve. So Parallels is the program that I use to convert my Mac into a Windows and Mac computer. I'm going to put the link to the program down in the description so you can download Parallels for yourself. They have a trial. You can test it out. That's what I did. And it worked really well. If you go back even two years ago when I made my first MetaTrader tutorial that I told you guys to go watch, Parallels wasn't easy to run then, so it was kind of a turnoff for me. But in that video, I had a cracked version of MetaTrader 4 that allowed me to just run it on a Mac. That cracked version stopped working, and a lot of other people wanted to run MetaTrader on their Mac. So that's what pushed me out of my comfort zone a little bit and to go back to Parallels and see if they upgraded, and they did. And now it works really, really well. So I do recommend this program for Mac users, whether you're on an Air or a MacBook Pro or an iMac, it works awesome. So now, at this point, with Parallels downloaded, you're then able to go download MetaTrader 4 directly to the Windows operating system within your Mac. So what that looks like, if you see at the bottom of my screen here, you can see my Mac toolbar. You can see the Parallels desktop and the Windows 10 desktop operating system open. From there, I can download any Windows program and it opens up just like a Windows computer would. So as you can see, I have MetaTrader downloaded. This is where we're going to go into how to actually use MetaTrader. So you should download it from MetaTrader4.com or any broker's website. You can get MetaTrader anywhere. Now, MetaTrader also has a mobile app, which if you guys would like, I can do a tutorial on that as well. I don't use it as often, um, but I can definitely get that done for you guys if you need it. I recommend always doing your trading from the desk. That's always the way to go, just because you're going to be more focused. So with MetaTrader open, this is basically what it's going to look like. You see your broker in the top corner, your account number up there. You'll see the currency pair or asset, whatever you're looking at, and the time frame. Now, there's another MetaTrader video. I hate to keep plugging my old video, but it's important that you watch it, where I go into every little button here and I show you how to use it. Today, we're going to kind of speed through that so I can set up the chart the way that I like to use it and show you how I'm using these indicators. What I'm going to do for you guys, if you look here, I'm going to put together a Google Drive folder linked down below in the description for you to download these four indicators, the TDI, the data box, a lot size calculator, and the average daily range indicator. Those are the four that I use. I'm going to show you now how I put them on my chart, but I also want to plug this risk calculator app because this has been a big help to me. And this is what we're going to end the video with today. Again, I'm not getting paid by these guys. It's $10 a month for you to sign up and try this thing, but it's very, very helpful. You don't need some Bluetooth keyboard chunky thing. This is all done on your MetaTrader platform. I'm going to show you how to do it in a second. So now you should see, just to recap, Parallels is downloaded, then MetaTrader 4 gets downloaded. Then you want to grab these indicators, download them to your desktop, and then you want to open MetaTrader 4 so we can start to set this thing up. So 
On the left side, you should know you have your currency pairs here. If you can't see them, just remember you can right click in and hit show all right here, and that will pull up all the currency pairs for you. Underneath that, you're gonna be able to see your accounts, your indicators, your expert advisors, and your scripts. Now, we're gonna focus on indicators and expert advisors. For this example, we're just gonna look at Euro USD. We have it on the one hour chart right now. Everything is set to what I need it to be at the top here. I like the green and red boxes checked up here. Everything looks good, but my candles are not great. So we just wanna switch this from this bar chart over to a candlestick chart right here at the top of the screen. Now this is better, but not perfect for me. So what I do is I right click in, or because I have the trackpad, you two fingers click in, anywhere on the screen and pull up the properties. And you can see from within the property section, there's a lot that you can play with. You can uh, scale fix one to one. You can scale fix the whole thing in general. You can pull an offline chart, chart in the foreground. You can show your open high, low close numbers if you'd like. But what we're here to do quickly is just put the background as black. We'll leave that. Foreground is white. That's fine. The grid, I don't like the grid. So I turn that off. I hit that to none. And if you've been following me or maybe you haven't, and this is your first video, you know that I don't like colored candles. I like to make them all one color because that removes the emotion that we can sometimes feel when we see four big green candles move up and then we want to chase that move because we're missing something, right? That's not the way that I like to trade. And I just want to remove the emotional temptation of that. So grid is off, candles are white. One other thing that we're going to go back in here and add, I want to make sure that you guys do this too. I like to turn on the period separators. That shows me day to day where we're at. Now I can see this is Monday today, this was Friday, this was Thursday. So now it's starting to paint itself a little bit clearer because the time at the bottom on MetaTrader is weird. It's tied to your broker and every broker has a different time. So it's not like there's a staple time at the bottom to follow for MetaTrader. And I should also say this, your broker is not MetaTrader. Remember I said that your broker name is up at the top. I have it blurred out because I don't want you guys to see my account number, but your broker is not MetaTrader. MetaTrader is an execution platform similar to TradingView.com where you can do chart analysis and link your brokerage account to them to place the trades through them. We're linked to my brokerage account here through MetaTrader 4 so I can place the trades here. So this is an execution platform, TD Ameritrade, Forex.com, Awanda. These are brokers where you can hold your money. The broker is like your trading bank account. Think of it that way. So now that we have the colors set, the background set. Now we need to start to piece together the indicators that I like to use. So the first thing we're going to do is come to the top here where you can see this little white piece of paper and a green plus sign. This is where we can choose the indicators to add. And we don't need anything super complicated, but we do need this ASFX TDI. This is going to start us off. Now you're going to say, Austin, when I go into my custom, I don't see ASFX TDI. So what you need to do, if that's the case, is take that download folder that I just showed you here from the Google Drive, right? Take this download folder, save it to your desktop. From your desktop, you wanna leave it there, come into MetaTrader, hit File, hit Open Data Folder. From here, pull this over from my second screen. From here, this is the little window that'll pop up. Open MQL4, then open Indicators, double click on it and drag the files that you save to your desktop from my folder into here. See how I have them right here as EX4s? That's where you need them. Then you would close this, close MetaTrader 4, restart MetaTrader, open it up, and they will be right there in custom. You'll see them. So now we're gonna put the TDI on there. With the TDI, I don't use the volatility bands. So what I do here is I can come to colors. I can turn the width of these blue lines to zero or I can just change the color to none like this. Now you won't see them, super easy. With the green, red, and yellow, you can do what you like with that, that's really on you. The fire brick, like these lines here, these are your super overbought, super oversold lines. I'm gonna just make them white so they just stand out as one neutral color. Again, I don't like the green and red, if you can tell, because I think that creates emotion. And then bam, there's my TDI on the bottom. Now, depending on your desktop and your resolution, you might wanna come in and make these lines a little bit bolder. So what you can do is right click in on the indicator, hit TDI properties, and it pulls up the window for you right here. Let's say we wanna make this red line really thick, put it to a five. Boom, hit okay. Now the red line is really thick. You see that? You can also click and drag here if you'd like to make this a little smaller like I do. Perfect. So now our TDI is set up. A Couple other things we need to add. First, if you wanna use the lot size calculator that I gave you, 
that'll be right here. You can use that. I like to use the expert advisor lot size calculator that's $10 a month because it takes the trading like one step out of my trading. If you use this lot size calculator, the reason I don't anymore is because it actually doesn't show up on my screen because of the size screen I'm using for some reason. It shows up all scrunched, watch. But if you do this, you can put your stop loss distance in, put your risk percentage in, and it'll calculate it depending on what currency pair you're using. So here you can see 30 stop loss, 2% risk, 6.71 would be the lot size. But you see how it's all high up there? I can't see it really. I was like, okay, let's find a new one. So in a second here, as we piece these other indicators on, I'm gonna show you the new one that I'm using and why I like it. So let's just remove this, delete, close. Now we're gonna go back up to the top and add the moving averages. So you can come in here on custom, you'll see custom moving averages. I click that, I go to inputs, I want first an eight, and I want it exponential right there. Okay. Now it came out red. I don't want it red. How do you change it again? You right click on it. If you can't right click on it, cause your mouse is being funny, right click in, go to indicator list, go to the custom moving average, hit edit. See how it came out red here. Let's make this yellow, blow this up, make it like a three, hit close. Boom. Now that yellow lines are nice and thick. So here, let's do it again. Custom, custom moving average. This one can be red. This one, let's make it three again. And this one, we're gonna change the input to 21. And again, exponential. So you can continue on with this as many EMAs as you need. You know I use five. We'll put one more on just for today's video. Here, put on the 50. Go to exponential. Now I like exponential moving averages because they're weighing more recent price data heavier than older price data. That's as simple as it is. And that makes a difference for me as a day trader. I want the short term price data to be held in higher regard, in higher esteem than the longer term price data. Now I want to change that white line. Let's make that blue. So let's go to edit, make this blue like that. Beautiful. Close. Cool. So now we've got three moving averages, starting to see some trend here, right? We've got the TDI on the bottom, that helps. Now I wanna to go to the custom and I wanna add in the data box. The data box isn't necessary here. It'll show you how uh, many pips up or down you are in a trade. It'll show you price from high, price from low, how far it is and things like that. Nothing necessary to your trading. So we're not gonna spend too much time on that, but I wanted to give it to you um, in case you wanted it. Now. The final thing that we need to do here is add ADR, the ASFX ADR. For this, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit because everybody's screen is a little bit different, but I don't look at the 20 day or the 10 day, so I turn those off and I do leave the true on one day and five day, okay? Font size, we definitely want it bigger than a seven. Let's make it a 12. And the reason you're gonna have to play with it is here where it says horizontal distance, vertical distance, space to next value, because watch, when I click OK, it's way up here in the top corner, right? So we need to go to indicators list, we need to go to ADR, hit edit, and we need to go like this. Let's make the vertical distance 500, and the space to the next value, let's make it 80. And then next line distance, let's go to 50. Let's see what that does. That's normally what I'll do is I'll just put in some bigger numbers and see what it does. Okay, so now we have some space here, but what we need to do is space out those numbers a little bit more. And you can see, like, I'm clearly not a pro with this. I'm just playing with it to find exactly where I need it to be. Space to separator, we can make that 100. Just to be funny here, we'll make this 100. Space to next value, call 200. We'll do 290 since that's what I, my fingers typed. Hit okay, hit close. And there you go. So now you can see ADR today is 90.4%. Today, it moved 60 pips. The one day yesterday, it moved 57. Five day average is 65. So you can play with those numbers, format this anywhere in this screen that you would like. But these are the indicators that I'm using. So now you would think, okay, this should stay this way if I leave and I just close my MetaTrader and come back. No, you have to make sure that you come up to the top. You save the template here. It's gonna pop up with another window in a second. And you can call this template anything you want, a bunch of numbers, hit save. Now, when you close MetaTrader, you just come back up to the top here at templates and that thing you saved will be right there. Next to that, I should just point out, that's where you can control timeframes if you didn't know with that little clock. Also right here, 
I still don't do a lot of chart analysis on MetaTrader 4 with these lines. I still prefer TradingView for my analysis, but as an execution platform, MetaTrader has a lot of options, and that's why I wanted to make this video to keep you guys updated on that. So now let's just go back really quick to look at the lot size calculator. So again, this is riskcalculator.app. I'll put this link in the description. I am finding it to be very useful. I used to use this one click trading thing right here. And now you can see that covers the lot size calculator for me anyway. So I needed a new solution and I found this thing on the internet. So basically all I need to do is buy it from them and then you download it. Just like you put the indicators into MQL4, you go file, open data folder, MQL4. Instead of going to indicators, you go to experts and I have it right here, risk calculator premium, okay? Put it in there, restart the thing. Then what you do is you take this from the expert advisor box in the bottom left corner, and you can see the settings within this thing. So I can control my risk, my ratio, my stop loss and pips. Now it has a couple other buttons on it that I'm gonna show you in a second. But now let's turn off one click trading to get that out of there. You can see it in the top corner. So risk percentage, we could just say is one. My risk reward ratio on a said setup, let's just call it three to one. Then what I can click is, let's say we're looking for longs. You hit buy calc and it shows you where your stop loss would be down here in red, where your take profit would be at three to one, and it sizes to your account for the percent risk that you put in right here. So it's showing how much in dollars that would be, the percentage that would be, and the volume being the lot size. That's what it's showing you here. If I was to change this and say 15% and let's do a sell, it'll flip. It'll show me here's the pips in stop loss distance, Here's the pips and distance for three to one, 20 to 60, right? It'll show you the dollars, the percent, and the lot size. Now, that's useful because when you're trading some of these crazy currency pairs, like uh, even just from Euro USD to NZD JPY, it can get a little different calculating dollar for pip. It's not always the same. So you can put this in, let's say we're going three to one, 1% 1 risk, put a sell calculator in. And then as soon as I wanna take the trade, I can hit execute trade right there. It'll place the trade, put my stop loss here and put my take profit here all in one position. It doesn't do three separate positions or anything like that. Then once you're in the trade, you can hit select open trade, click the open trade that you would like to choose. And in here, you can either close half of it, close a custom percentage, which you can set in the settings, or you can put stop loss to break even instantly with just a click of a button. So again, you don't need some clunky thing on your desk to click a bunch of funny buttons. You can do it right here on the screen with this app. And again, I'm not being paid by them. I have no affiliation with them. I've never even spoken to them. It just works. So I wanted to share it with you guys. And all that can be changed here in the settings, right? Where your custom percentage, 10% is set to right now, whatever, you can change that. If you want it to be 20%, every time you click close custom, it'll take 20% off the trade, which is very, very helpful. So. Now your MetaTrader can be set up basically identically to mine. I'm putting all the links to everything I just talked about in the description of the video. You can download the indicators from my Google Drive folder in the description to this video. And if you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, put them in the comments. If you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up. If you're this far through, we'll say our secret word will be, let's just do MetaTrader. Comment if you watch this far through, MetaTrader will be our secret word. If you don't have any questions, great, get to work. Let me know how it works out for you. If there's anything that you want to say like, okay, you went a little too fast, Austin. Again, watch the first MetaTrader tutorial. I'll put that linked as, uh, in the description as well. But I appreciate your time. I hope that this video brought you value. Let me know if you need anything. Again, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.